Welcome to another video episode by Super Genius 99 and today we're going to do a little trigonometry converting an angle to degrees, minutes, and seconds. And so first of all let me get up here the principle uh, it's going to help you convert degrees, minutes, and seconds. Okay so over here on the right we have one degree is 60 seconds sorry 60 minutes and one minute is 60 seconds and to represent seconds we use the two lines after the number so one degree equals 60 minutes one degree equals 60 minutes one minute equals 60 seconds in trigonometry so if we were to convert 44 and 22 degrees in degrees, minutes, and seconds, we leave the 44 alone and we take this, the number 22 after the period, the 22 hundredths of a degree, and we convert that to minutes. That's the first thing you want to do. Convert the 22 and hundredths of a degree to minutes and then if you have any leftover convert that to seconds. So let's do that first. So I'm put 22 over 100 okay and while it's up here let's go ahead and reduce that but and we can go ahead and multiply it. So 22, remember 1 degree is equal to 60 minutes. So if this was 1 degree, it would be 60. But it's 22 hundredths of a degree. So we're going to multiply that by 60. I'll put that over 1. Because remember, any number... Any number is it's itself over 1 when it comes to fractions. And then now I'll reduce. I can see that 10 can go into both of these. So I'll divide this by 10 and this by 10. So 100 divided by 10 is 10. 60 divided by 10 is 6. And then I see this 22 and this 10 can reduce. But let's let's go ahead and write, rewrite this before we reduce it more. So now it's going to be 22 over 10 times 6 over 1. And we can see we can reduce this more. So I'm going to divide top and bottom by 2. So 22 divided by 2 is 11. 10 divided by 2 is 5. Okay. Multiply that to 11 times 6 is 66. And 5 times 1 is 5. Okay. So at this point, I'm going to solve the problem 5 into 66. So 5 into 66. You're right here. So you know 5 goes into 6 one time. Okay, that gives you 5. Subtract 6 minus 5 is 1. Bring down your 6. Now how many times does 5 go into 16? 3 times. 3 times 5 is 15. Okay. Subtract, and that leaves you with the 1. And we're going to leave it right there. So now, at this point, we have 44 and point 22, or 44 and 22 
hundredths of a of degrees is equal to 44 degrees. I'll put the degree there in a second. 13 minutes and then a 0.5 of a minute. So we're going to we're going to handle that 5. So 20 44 degrees 13 minutes and then and one fifth, 13 and one fifth of a minute. So now we're going to handle that one fifth. That one fifth of a minute, we're going to uh, convert that into seconds. Let me put my degree on my 44. Okay, so since we have one fifth of a minute, we know that one minute is 60 seconds. So just like just like we handled that over here, just like we handled 22 degrees, we put 22 over. 100 and then we multiply by 60. Well, one fifth is already a fraction. So what we're going to do is one fifth is already a fraction. So I'm going to put one one over five, write it like this. Multiply that by 60 because there are 60 seconds in one minute and this is one fifth of a minute. Okay. Really, this is just boils down to how many times does 5 go to 60, which is 12, okay? So, if you want to see the math, 5 goes into 60. 5 goes into 6 one time. 1 times 5 is 5, okay? 6 minus 5 is 1. 5 goes into 10 two times. 5 times 2 is 10. No remainder. So 12 is your answer there. So the full amount would be 44 degrees, 13 minutes, and 12 seconds. So 22 to 44 degrees and 22 hundredths of a degree, 44 and 22 hundredths of a degree is converted to 44 degrees, 13 minutes, 12 seconds. All right, been a video lecture from Super Genius 99. Thank you for watching.